This year, we're going to shake things up a bit. I'm splitting our CES adventures into two separate videos. First up was our CES XR highlights video. If you've missed it, go check it out. Today, we are partnering with an organization of the government of South Korea. They asked us to visit the Korean Pavilion, which is a hub of some of the most boundary-pushing innovations in XR technology, and they asked us to make a separate video on them. Now, I would not have done this if I didn't find things worth talking about. We have visited over 20 Korean XR companies, and we handpicked five standout weird, wonderful, or downright futuristic inventions that absolutely deserve the spotlight. Join me beyond reality and let's get started with imagining a device that can literally send shivers down your spine or make you feel the heat of a dragon's breath, all while sitting comfortably in your living room. Sounds like something out of a sci-fi movie, right? Well, the 2H is turning this fantasy into reality with the personal space. And they're aiming to launch it by the second quarter of this year. The CES 2024 Innovation Award honoree winner is a wearable, multi-sensory haptic device that syncs with your favorite games, movies, and even audiobooks. Think Netflix, but with physical sensations. Worn around your neck, this gadget can simulate cold, heat, wind, vibrations, and yes, even tickles. It even has a built-in woofer to amplify every sound experience. I got a taste in a private demo with Si Hun Lee, the brain behind personal space. Lee isn't just anyone, he's a former creature supervisor at ILM, which is part of Lucasfilm and has lent his genius to iconic films like Pirates of the Caribbean and Avatar. He even had a hand in the Transformers attraction at Universal Studios. Why does this matter? Because Lee is all about creating those jaw-dropping, immersive experiences, and now he wants to bring that magic right into our living rooms. The prototype I tried was just a glimpse of what's to come. The final product will be smaller and more lightweight. And while not all features were up and running during my tasks like the tickles and woofer, the sensations I did experience surprised me. There was a part where he showed me Harry Potter's first encounter with the Dementors and I actually felt that eerie cold. It surprised me as it was able to give me goosebumps. So think about this, if it can do that with a regular movie, imagine pairing personal space with your VR headset. Of course, the success of such tech hinges on content support. Lee's a little bit ahead of the game with an SDK in the works and collaborations lined up to enrich the personal space experience. He told me he's teaming up with Jake Rowell, the director behind titles like Call of Duty, for a new VR stealth action game designed specifically for personal space. It's a promising start and I can't help but root for personal space, but as with any groundbreaking tech, we'll believe it when we see it. Here's to hoping Si Hung and his team deliver on their vision. And if you're a regular on this channel, you're probably familiar with VR haptic suits. Wearable gadgets that allow you to feel what's happening inside the game. They're like a gamer's dream wardrobe. Now Wave Company is strutting onto the scene with a whole new approach. Their mission is to craft smart apparel, not only for gaming, but one that optimizes our every move. At their core, Wave Company makes smart apparel. They're wizards behind advanced silicone textile technologies. They take pride in taking on challenges like comfort, durability, washability, and manufacturing costs, and solving them. They've been making athletic compression wear so they know what they're doing. In comes the Alexuit, smartware with textile sensors offering electro-tactile feedback. That's perfect for gaming. Yes, that sounds like the Ovo skin, except that the elect suits electrodes are specifically placed to target major muscle groups. So it helps with muscle growth too. Meaning you could be getting ribs while you're raiding dungeons in VR. Talk about multitasking. What's super cool about this suit, it's sleek, not bulky. The fabric is thin and stretchable as the tag is seamlessly integrated. And yes, you can even wash it. The idea is that since it looks like regular sportswear, you can wear it outside of VR. So whether you're doing it for fitness, healthcare, or 
you are chilling in your VR world, this suits got your back and arms and legs. Unfortunately, there were interference problems with the suit at CES, so I could not demo it, but I got hands-on with TrackMe, the other smart fitness gem. Which is like having a gym coach on your arm, as it can collect your workout deeds and serve up AI-powered insights. Meaning no need for manual data entry and expensive personal trainers. And it worked well. So from what I've seen, Wave Company is pushing boundaries in movement tech. And I can stand behind a product that, that's boosting our health while we're lost in VR world. So I hope to see them keep supporting VR. What do you think? Should I nudge them for a review unit of the Alex suit? <laughs> Drop your thoughts in the comments below and leave me a like while you're at it. Next up, we're diving into something that's not quite VR, but is stirring up the tech world with a blend of innovation and intrigue. Enter V-Touch, the Korean trailblazer in AI-driven natural user interfaces. They're making waves at CS 2024, scooping up innovation awards for two products, the Whispering and the Hollow Bun. The Whisper Ring isn't your average piece of jewelry. It's a wearable ring that transforms chit chat with AI into a seamless experience. Basically, it's a tiny microphone you can hold up to your lips and it can even hear you if you whisper to it. The ring's whisper technology offers clear conversations even amidst the hustle and bustle, all while keeping your chats private. Now you connect it to your phone and using VTouch's own app, a number of AI assistants can aid you by speaking back. Imagine having ChatGPT right on your finger, ready to chat in the most natural way possible, no screens, just your voice. It can speak back into your ear using earbuds. So the ring breaks the mold of traditional AI assistant devices with no need for a wake-up wear. Thanks to its proximity sensors and AI speech recognition, this ring knows when you're speaking to it. I tried it out at CES and I needed a bit of practice for it to hear my voice, but when it did, it reminded me of Iron Man speaking to his AI, Jarvis. I think this is where we're all headed. But don't listen to me, listen to Bill Gates, the tech oracle himself. He predicts that AI agents are set to revolutionize computing in the next five years. He envisions a shift from graphical to conversational user interfaces, potentially even replacing our beloved smartphones. Bloomberg Intelligence backs this up with a bold forecast. The generative AI market could skyrocket to a whopping 1.3 trillion US dollars by 2032. Plus, here we are witnessing the genesis of this trend with products like Humane's AI Pin and now the Whispering. To launch Whispering as a Kickstarter in the near future, but we don't know when exactly yet or how much it will cost. Their other product, the Hollow Button, interested me too, so let's briefly talk about it. Retouch has conjured up a device that projects holographic images right into thin air. And you can interact with these floating hologram buttons with a simple touch in thin air as well. When I stood in front of its sensor, a holographic button appeared out of nowhere, waiting for interaction. It surprised me as it really did look like a hologram. Man, I would love to see these products integrated in our daily lives. Back to VR. A few years back, VR's impact in education wasn't clear. That has changed now. It has been proven that VR transforms learning from reading a book into an experience that you won't easily forget. As someone who's dived into the VR educational apps, I can personally attest to its impact. The addition of realistic add-ons in various apps has only amplified this effect, making the learning experience not just informative, but visually engaging. Meta Adusis is a company that's not just about innovation, but is driven by a mission of social responsibility. They harness the power of metaverse technology and educational services to tackle social challenges, integrating environmental, social, and governance principles into their framework. One of their creations is the VR Wildfire Education app. 
is designed in response to the United Nations Environment Program's dire forecast of a 30% surge in global forest fires by 2050. I tried it and they were able to make it more impactful by smartly integrating a heat and cold add-on with a Pico headset, simulating the real sensations of a fire, and it made me feel the danger more. And the effect was profound. So there was something small that I learned to do, which was using a towel to touch doorknobs as they're probably too hot to touch during a fire, which sounds simple, but it's a crucial survival tip that I never really thought about before this. Let me share another example. I distinctly remember another VR educational experience, not from Meta Adusis, but equally memorable. That app taught me how to handle a fire extinguisher and it used a real one, attached to a Vive tracker, so I could feel the weight of the real thing and I could squeeze a real lever. I remember making a mistake here and squeezing the lever too long and then realizing how quickly an extinguisher can deplete. It shocked me so much that I won't soon forget it. I don't think I would have ever done this training if it wasn't for VR as it would probably be too expensive. I think that's the power of learning in VR. Having personally experienced this, I just can't recommend VR learning enough. It's not just educational, but it could very well be a lifesaver. As we draw to a close, let's spotlight something a little bit more playful. It's not strictly VR, but it's AI tech integration into gaming and it could be interesting for social VR. Meet Sidewalk Entertainment, an AI startup that's pushing the boundaries of content creation and interaction through real-time motion tracking AI technology. They've unveiled Stepin, a platform that's part K-pop dance academy, part social network, and part gaming arena. Stepin is not just about learning dance moves though, it's about competing, sharing, and being scored by an AI that understands your every move. This platform is powered by some seriously impressive tech. Their real-time motion tracking AI offers a precise, objective analysis of human movements. And not only that, their AI can craft a full-body avatar from just one photo, complete with a range of AI-generated faces and fashionable outfits. But what really surprised me was how our movements sync flawlessly with that avatar with just a single front-facing camera which can also be your phone camera. No bulky motion sensor suits, no complicated calibration, just you and the camera. It's just so much cheaper and making it possible for everyone to do animations at a top tier level, which used to be only possible for companies. And when Jerry and I gave it the reel spinning a full 360 degrees, the tracking was still spot on. Now you might be thinking, this would be perfect for social VR platforms like VRChat, right? I had the same thought and I asked them on the spot. Sally, they don't have plans for VR integration yet, but I let them know there's a hungry audience out there, so maybe if we band together and voice our interest, who knows, we might just make it happen. In the meantime, you can experience the magic of Stepin's AI motion tracking, which is free to try out if you fancy letting your inner K-pop stars shine. I'll put the link below. And that rounds up our favorite highlights of the latest Korean innovations from CES 2024. But what are your thoughts on these technological marvels? Is there something that particularly sparked your interest or perhaps left you wanting more? Dive in the comments and let's get the conversation going. If you enjoyed this sneak peek into the future, why not like and subscribe? Join me beyond reality, where we'll keep exploring the fascinating world of XR together. Your support means the world and helps keep this channel thriving.